Hello friends, this is Rupesh and you are watching CVV Nut video series on C++ and this video is about what happens if you go out of the boundary in array or vector in C++. I am talking about the STL array and STL vector. And if it crashes or do something bad, can we save ourselves from actually crashing or just terminating our application? So yeah, there is a way. So if you see this, yeah, let's look at the code now. We have vector here. So let's say if I'm printing a very big number here, let's say, I don't know, this number you can assume as a random number and I'll just try to print it. Let me compile this. It will compile successfully. And the problem is it is giving you a sag fault here. We can see this. So the moment you receive a sag fault, it will terminate your application. You won't be able to go ahead. And you can clearly see that vector is just initialized. It doesn't have any elements, but we are just trying to access a very big number or out of range number for that matter. And the issue is it is not having the access to that particular area where it is actually trying to get the access from. So what is the solution here? So the solution is very simple. Let me copy paste this. Okay, not copy paste. Oh yeah, let's say. And instead of subscript operator, I'll use a function. So this function is available in array, STL array and STL vector. So I mean, yeah, vector is always STL, but in C++ STL array is also available, right? So I'll compile this and if I'll execute now, this is not a sag fault. It is telling you there is an uncaught exception of type out of range. Now we are reaching somewhere that it, okay, there is no sag fault now. We can actually get rid of sag fault and save ourselves from terminating your application. So there is a quicker way. I'll just remove this. Okay, let's keep it. No problem. What I can do is I'll put a try catch block double, I mean, triple dot to catch anything. I mean, don't worry if you don't know this, I'll teach you there. So out of range handled. Okay. And this is printed. Now let me compile this and you will see it is not terminating. It is giving you out of range handled exception. So the same line, same number, and now it is not terminating because we have handled the exception. See, before it was actually terminating, it is saying that I'm terminating due to the uncaught exception. Now it is not terminating. It is telling that, okay, there was an exception and it's being handled here. So we're in good shape. And the best part is, see, if you remember, same code was crashing before, right? Now it is not crashing. And the beauty is I can still have my application running. Hello, there I am still alive. Cool, right? Okay, let me compile this and run this see out of range handled same thing before it was terminating your application now it is being handled and your application is not terminating it is still functioning good right so you have this at function which does the boundary check how java and other application does but sadly this is not available in c so in c i mean if you are from c you'll have to do your own checkings and you have to program like that otherwise you can be a little free if you are from C++. And yeah, as I told that I will give you an exception handling videos. So be prepared for that. And this is my first time recording myself. So there are so many mistakes I can see that I'm, I'm looking at myself instead of actually in the camera. So this is the issue. Uh, it will get solved over time. So thanks for watching guys. I'll see you in the next videos. Bye bye. Take care.